Hey folks, this is Vince with Dance Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Spin Hero. This is a game that's coming to Steam on October 8th, 2024. Tomorrow, in fact. So what you're looking at is a preview build, but should be, for the most part, reflective of the finished product. This is a rogue-like deck builder. There are no talent trees or anything like that where you're going to be improving a character over time. Rather, you will unlock some content in between, but there's no, like, permanent progression. You're going to choose a hero and some other modifiers, and off you go. This is one of those slot machine games. Uh, if you've ever played Luck Be a Landlord... That's a game where you're continuously spinning a slot machine in order to earn as much money as possible so that you can pay rent every week. Well, in this game, you've got a character with health and mana, and you've got some inventory items, and those items will go onto the slot machine. And as is typical of a game like this, you're going to be earning more items over time. In fact, you pick a starting bundle which contains some items already in it. Some are consumable, so like once they are used on that slot machine, they're gone forever. Others are modified in different ways. You know, this one does 25 damage, but every time it's used, it goes down in damage. One thing I will note, and this is a problem, um, progress and experience will not be saved if you go back to the main menu mid-run. It says there right on the screen, and that's a huge problem. Respect my time. I'm sorry, but that... Uh, <laughs> I hate it when games do that. I really do. There, how can there not be a mid-game save feature? Uh, just respect my time and respect the fact that people have lives. Okay? It is 2024. I can't believe games are still doing this. Anyway, um, so this game, for the most part, plays itself. Um, with the exception of you picking things in between battles. Um, so a way a battle typically plays out is you click the spin button. Then you get attack and defense and all that good stuff. And then you keep spin again. And you just, whatever comes up. Yeah. There, there are no choices to make. You know, there's health and there's mana. And mana is automatically gained and taken away based on your spin. So there's no choices to be made while you're making, while you're doing these battles. But in between is where the decisions come into play. You go to shops, for example, and you can pick new symbols to add to your inventory. And again, those symbols will make their way onto the slot machine. Once you remove all of like the little blank slash dot spaces, then you have to start deciding, okay, do I want to remove some symbols that aren't as effective to get the maximum spin every single time? You'll start finding like synergies, you know, like I, I forwent the bow and arrow build. Like there's bows that you can get. And then if you get arrows too, and they happen to slot next to each other after a spin, they get extra damage, and you know, there's stuff like that. But I went with like swords and axes, and I went uh, a lot of armor, I stacked a lot of armor, and that saw me through pretty much. Uh, one thing I don't like is the there's lack of UI help. Like there are all these gold numbers over these symbols, like plus 15, plus 2... I don't know what it means. There's no tooltip telling me what that is. And the help button in the bottom left doesn't tell you either. So there's no like, there's a lack of mouse over tooltip telling me what's going on. That being said, like, I kind of don't care because like all I'm doing is clicking the spin button. I have no control over it anyway. I have no control. So whether or not I know what that number means, it doesn't matter because I don't have any control <laughs> over it. You know what I mean? So like, I, I like I like these kind of slot machine games. I just wish this one had a bit more decision making. There are runes that you can activate that you earn. Like you can use this one every three battles, this one every stage, uh, that kind of thing. And eventually you get to a point where the enemies start getting tankier and tankier and tankier. So you're, you're having to keep up with the ever-growing strength of these creatures. And that means slotting your your inventory in such a way to where you're getting the most out of your symbols. Uh, you'll come across chests. Some of them need keys. So you have to also kind of, you know, get keys along the way if you remember to do so. Or like I said, it, I think my biggest, the biggest fun I had with this is just trying to figure out what synergizes and what doesn't. But, you know, the whole not being able to save mid run, you know, per that, you know, you know, you're going to lose your progress. If you go back to me, I mean, that's a problem. The lack of UI, 
uh, tool tips. Like I, I don't know what this plus two is or this plus 22 is. They're different colors. I don't know what that is. Tell me what that is. I want to know why I'm rolling what I'm rolling, but if I mouse over attack, for example, or defense, it doesn't give me a breakdown of what that is comprised of. So I know what is working and what's not working, if that makes any sense. Like I get a minus nine over here, a, a minus 12, a plus two. What does it all mean? Is it related to gold? Because that, that gold is yellow and the numbers are yellow. So they somehow can, I don't know. So I feel like this game needs to be a bit more intuitive and open with its information. If I hover over attack, tell me what what is that comprised of? This this item is giving me plus plus twelve attack with a red, and this is giving me a, a you know tell me what's working and what's not, so I can get rid of the things that are not working. I think that would be better. But for right now, and maybe it's just me being stupid, which is that's a possibility. But I'm just saying, like, there's no mouse over tooltip telling me these things. So I'm not going to sit here and try and, you know, calculate it or figure it out either. This is something games should, you know, be intuitive enough and be programmed inherently already to help the player. You know, I shouldn't have to sit here and try and reason what the developer was thinking when they came up with this mechanic or, or this UI number. But anyway, um, so like I have some problems with this game. I like I like the overall idea of it. I like the overall idea of it. But there are some huge issues with it. Again, mid save that needs to happen. I'm sorry. And the lack of UI mouse tips. And again, the game kind of plays itself while you're battling. There's not a whole lot of choices except in between. Uh, maybe that's by design. So maybe like an auto auto spin button would be cool. There's a there's uh, that might yeah. <laughs> there's a way to fast forward time, but there's no way as far as I can tell to auto spin. Maybe that little that two arrow button I never clicked on it, but there's two arrows on the bottom right. Maybe I click on that. That maybe that's the auto spin. So yeah, uh, give it a look. There is a demo, so try it before you buy it. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time. Take care.